What's up everybody, welcome back to Double T Gaming, hope you guys are having a great day, and for today's video, I've been getting a lot of questions about how to actually connect to a vanilla World of Warcraft private server, so I thought today I'd do a little tutorial on how to do that, everything you need to download, and actually connect to a server to show you guys that, I mean, it's not that hard to do. So first off, you actually need a torrent client, you can use BitTorrent, you can use uTorrent, I personally like uTorrent the best, so just go over to uTorrent.com and download this client, it will pop up in Portuguese first, there's a comment up to the top right corner, switch that to English, Hit download. I downloaded the free one. You could pay for it if you want to, but I don't really see it pointing. I don't really see that much advertisements in anyway. It doesn't really get in the way. So download that file right there. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to download it again. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when it's finished downloading. And it looks like this. uTorrent. It's actually a very useful thing. You basically torrent anything you want from movies, DVDs, video games, all that good stuff. I've torrented like a season of like Smallville and everything. So, yeah. But basically, this is what you're going to use to download the actual client. And actually, you need a client. You need a vanilla World of Warcraft client, a 1.12 client. So I'm going to use Kronos WoW's client. I think Elysium has one available on the website. I'll link to it to download. But it's all the same client. You can go anywhere you need to to get the client. I'm going to just say go to Kronos WoW. So it's Kronos-WoW.com or just go to the like Google, type in Kronos WoW. And then just find a little tab on this website. It says how to connect. I have trouble finding it right here. But I was looking through all the information and stuff. Kronos is a very good server. A lot of people are saying I'm hating on Kronos. I just believe that most players on Kronos are from Nostarius after it shut down. And when Nostarius is coming back, I feel like a lot of those players are going to go back to Nostarius to play their old characters. That's why I said RIP Kronos in my other videos. But anyway, hit this how to connect button at the very top of the page, how to connect tab. And it'll give you a link to a client you can download. So just click on that link right there. And it'll bring you to a website where you can download the client for patch 1.12. Vanilla, I think that's pre nax and everything. You just download that right here. Uh, all that good stuff. Open it with your uTorrent file. And then hit OK. And it'll pop up in uTorrent. And just hit, this is where you choose where you actually want to save it. I usually do save it somewhere I remember because I lose documents very easily. I do either my like my documents page or desktop, anything you want. Just click where you want to save it and then download it right there. It'll take a little bit to download. I think it's like about 5 gigs. But I'm not going to finish it right here because I already finished it. So I'm going to just delete that one and then use the one I actually already have. It's going to be the same exact steps. I'm just not going to wait for this download to finish. And all that good stuff. I say all that good stuff a lot. But as you guys can see, now you go down to your actual client right here. You hit open file location. And then you'll see it in a second. You just right click it, hit, hit open containing folder, all that good stuff. That is a great little tab they have. Some people don't know about that. Just hit continue if you want to be safe about it. I don't, if you want to read that, it's not going to hurt your computer, I promise. If you do, you can sue Kronos because that's from them. But then it'll open up in a, like a bit, like a, what is it called? Like a zip file thing. I have WinRAR. Basically every computer has WinRAR. You could use 7-zip or whatever. Just extract it to somewhere you know, either your desktop, your my document section, all that good stuff right there. Just extract it somewhere you're going to know where it is. And then just open up that file. Now the method I use for opening it up. I have a shortcut on my page to the vanilla WoW like client. So I just hit, I just right click it and hit open file location. And it'll take me right to the folder I need to. That's, that's a method I use and it's very, very simple. So what I recommend doing is when you get to this folder, create a shortcut to the wow.exe file because it'll help you out in the long run whenever you need to change your realm list, all that good stuff, unless you just saved it straight to your desktop. Unless you saved the entire vanilla file straight to your desktop. You could have done that if you wanted to. I put it in my documents because I'm a little bit cluttered as it is right now. But then you want to change your realm list. This is the most important part right here. You want to change the realm list to your server. So let's go back to Kronos WoW and see what their realm list is. Go back to your how to connect, scroll down, and there it is right there. You just want to copy this little thing right here and then paste that into your realm list. And you got to make sure there's no spaces because spaces are going to screw it up. Just hit save right there and then you're basically done. You just open up your little launcher client thing and then log into an account. I think I have an account on this thing. I haven't played Cronus in a while. Let me see if this still works. And it does. All right. And now we're on Cronus right now. That's basically it, guys. It's not that difficult. You just need a torrent client. You need the actual vanilla client. And then you need something to be able to distract folders and stuff. But I'll do a little run through one more time just for you guys to know. This is my retail. I used them in a video a long time ago. But let me just give you guys a little run through again. You want to download a client that could like do like torrents and stuff. I use uTorrent. 
go ahead and download that. Change the language if you need to. For some reason, it pops up in Portuguese. I don't know why it does that. So go ahead and change your language. Go to Kronos WoW and then get a how to connect and then download the vanilla client and get your realm list and then just change your realm list and you will be good to go. Elysium Nastaris, it's coming. There's one more week for a stress test. So if you want to get in the stress test, you got to do this and then change the realm list to whatever Elysium says. Create an account on that website. The only reason I use Kronos for this is because it's a working server and I can show you guys it actually works and this is the easy thing to do. It probably, all in all, it'll probably take an hour depending on the internet speed for your vanilla client download. uTorrent doesn't take any time at all to download. But anyway, thank you guys for watching Double T Gaming. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.